Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm doing a bloom swipe and I'm doing it on a larger canvas. So generally with the bloom or the bloom swipe technique, it's kind of a smaller format, like usually tiles or like a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Um, there are some artists that have gone bigger with the bloom technique and I just thought I would experiment with it a bit with the textured blooms that I've been playing with and that has the solvent based paint, which is not an acrylic. So it's a little additive that I put on right before I use the cell activator on top. And it basically, um, it, the way it dries, it kind of creates these different textural effects in the painting. So, and I, I was pretty happy with the composition. I want to play more with composition on bigger canvases with bloom to see kind of what I can come up with as far as keeping balance and sort of just good abstract composition with a, a larger piece. And it's difficult with the bloom technique to, to create that. So I'll get you on the canvas and I'll show you my colors and I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm really glad you're here. Stay tuned till the end. I'm going to show you dried results and uh, I'll share more about an upcoming event in Seattle fluid art experience as well at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to show you my colors. So this is a Charvin indigo mixed with golden fluid Jenkins green. And these are mixed for the bloom technique. Um, this is a manganese blue by Soho. It's one of my favorite colors of theirs. Their mineral blue is also very pretty. Quinacridone, Nicolazo gold. There's a little bit of shimmer in here. I must have had a little bit of pigment in here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's mostly... Cuneg. Uh, this is kind of this mustardy, um, it's a uh, fallow by Charvin, mixed with some raw sienna and a tiny bit of um, blue, just like a cerulean blue. And a tiny bit of cerulean blue just makes this a lot earthier looking. And this is turquoise green. Amsterdam Expert. This is Green of Nice by Charvin. It's really, really a neat color. These two were the inspiration for this palette, these two together. And this is Golden Fluid. Um, it's their Interference Gold. I'm going to use some Pebio Fantasy Moon Paints to get some texture into this painting. This is the uh, pearl. And the gold. Got some palette knives. I'm going to use a black um, cell activator. Here I've got my cell activators, plate. Um, and then this is my pillow, which I will link. It's not GAC 800. It's my um, pillow paint. And I, I'll link a video um, in the description called Pillow Talk that talks in depth about that recipe for that. And I've got Jessica Winters, Jessica, Jessica Winterstrom's wonderful spinner here uh, with the 24 by 24 inch canvas attached. And I did rig up some uh, cardboard just because I had some paintings back there that I didn't want to move. <laughs> so I put some cardboard there just so I didn't get any splatter off my table. Think about me one more time before you go. I've been feeling this way for far too long 